Creating mashups of your favorite food is a great way to make dinner time a little bit more exciting. So here with some fun food combos that are the best of both worlds is Chef Matt Dean Pettit. Hey. Such a genius you are. Wait till you hear to these mashups. Like MDP, you love a good mashup. I do. Um, what is the key to making sure these recipes work? That might be the first time I've ever been called a genius, so thank you very much. <laughs> that was good. I'll take full credit for that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I'm the inventor of mashup foods. Yes, you are. Uh, I'll put that beside my long <laughs> list of titles and acronyms. Um, you know what? What do I love about it? Essentially, when you can take two of your favorite foods and put them in one dish. That's mm. the rule of thumb, right? Two of your favorite dishes into one or two of your favorite snacks, whatever it might be, flavors, whatever. So... I love it. It's just something, and again, it gets it's get getting people creative in the kitchen, right? Right. Use what you have in your pantry. Use what you have around you. Uh -huh. You know, the old triple R: reduce, reuse, recycle. That's right. We've been talking a lot about that. Well, so why right? not put some of those leftover ingredients with you something else it. you love and do a thing? So your first mashup is butter, chicken, empanadas. Absolutely. This sounds yeah. delicious. Right. Look at this. So just oozing mm. out. So butter chicken, again, you can do it either from home. So you're starting with like gram marsala. You've got the beautiful um, different spices that you're building. Typically when you're building, you know, Indian cuisine, you need time. Mm -hmm. Time, time, time. Mm -hmm. Slow cooking. You're letting it go. So as we talk about this here, I've got them done and ready to go. Again, if you're at home and it's a Tuesday night, skip forward. You know, get into it and you can buy your favorite sort of sauce ready to go. Mm -hmm. Chicken thigh, break it down. Butter chicken sauce in. You know, you can buy either store-bought dough or pre, you know, uh, dough that's come out rolled out. Yeah. Or if you're going to invent, just make your own. A couple little spheres. So we're making empanadas. Essentially, you know, punch the dough out. One on the bottom, roll it out. Filling in the middle. Crimp it. Put the top on. Crimp it together. You could all use, like my mom used to do, she used to use a the fork. fork. The fork yeah. move. We all know the fork move. Yeah. A little dip in the water. That was my move. I was allowed to be the crimper. Yes, um, it's a very special job. It is. And th these here are beautiful butter chicken empanadas. These are for, we actually serve this in our place, Trinity Market. Oh, and people love it. So how long would you bake those for? So everything goes in, crimp it, 2025. 20, yeah. And uh, golden brown and away to go. It's very unbelievable. Nice. You're pre-cooking down your sauce. You're filling already. Okay. So butter chicken, done. Next mashup, we yeah. are ta taking the tacos, but we are doing the cheeseburger edition of your tacos, which I don't know if there are two better foods you could mash up. Right? So, that, like, that's incredible. So, smash burger cheeseburgers yes. in taco form. Yeah. And essentially, to your point, it's the greatest thing of all time. Yeah. So, we're going to do this live time. Super, super simple. So, we've got uh, ground chuck. Again, if you're using it, you're buying, you know, I always recommend buying uh, medium, medium ground beef. Never yeah. lean because you're going to lose all that fat and flavor and everything. And yeah. the fat is the good thing. Right. right. This is when fat is good. Keep the fat yeah. in the pan. Keep the fat in um, there. So we're doing tortilla, corn tortilla. Yeah. And you just want to press it down. This has gone viral. Thank you for calling me a genius, but I did not invent this. <laughs> this I know we've done on the show before mashup sort of, you know, viral videos that have yeah. gone. Yeah. So all I'm doing is ground beef down, pushing this through. We're going to cook this essentially in live time as well, nice. which is great. You're just pushing it. And so now you've got about a minute, you know, minute, two minutes here. And you're just looking to sort of smash that together. So you can smell that, right? Like it, it smells just, so good. Super the, simple. The fact that it's smashed, though, does that allow it to cook through a it, little easier? It does. You're looking for that caramelization. So when you smash a burger down like that, mm -hmm. you're looking for that beautiful sort of like, you know, crispy, crunchy sort of sides. Yeah. Typically speaking, again, you want to keep everything in, all that flavor. We're going to flip it over in a second. Okay. And let that continually cook. Like, this is something you can do on a Tuesday night, right? Oh, Easy. my gosh, absolutely. I just picked Tuesday because that's like a day nobody wants to do anything. For some reason, why is it Tuesdays are like that? Um, what is the thing that people love the most at your restaurant? Um, what are they coming in and you know for sure you're going to be... I, I can, yeah, you know what? I cannot lie. Butter, chicken, and bananas. That's what they love. They love. A I little get bit it. of weird wine bar. Trinity Market's wine, so snackies and wine. Yeah. You get that with like a nice little Riesling, the heat and the sweet. Mm. The heat and the sweet. That's a rule of thumb, right? Mm -hmm. When you're pairing foods, almost like mashup stuff. Like, yeah. talk to me right now, oh, that's Trace. That's good. Look at this. That's talk fantastic. to me, right? Like, look yeah. at this. It's like we've done this before. So, so now the top little bit of cheese. This is what we're doing. Yeah. Into a little bit of tomatoes. I got tomatoes on the vine here. Nice. Let's get real. Pickles, do we like pickles? We love pickles. I do too. Yeah, so really, pickles, really good. So pickles, let's get right into it. We're going to do a little uh, cheeseburger sauce. Everybody knows yep. the rule. Does everybody, do you know the secret of like a real cheeseburger the sauce? The burger sauce, what yeah. is it? 
It's Thousand Island dressing. Yeah. Not to get, hopefully we don't get like a legal lawsuit here. But, uh, <laughs> don't spoiler, sue spoiler, us. Yeah, spoiler alert, don't sue us. It is Thousand Island dressing with a little bit of pickles. Like relish. Relish. Okay. Yeah. So here, this yeah. is like, this is good to go. This is incredible. Can we just get a plate right here? Yeah, This for is sure. going to be super hot, so just be careful. As we plate this, give that 30 seconds. But like, just look how good that is right here. Beautiful. This is unbelievable. Very nice. Right? Like, this yeah. is going to be gorgeous. That is gorgeous. So as that goes, that's going to be hot We're going to let that cool down yeah, yeah. for a second while we get to our last mashup which is the deviled eggs. Deviled egg uh, pasta salad. But it's a pasta. So you go to, you know, a uh, family event, you're going to a cookout, you're going to a barbecue, you're hanging out, everybody loves pasta salad, I bring a pasta yeah, salad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My family loves pasta it's a, it's salad. It's a crowd favorite. It's a crowd favorite, really. Yeah. Uh, and then you combine deviled eggs, which nobody likes to make because they stink up the house, they take a while, you gotta <laughs> pipe it in. You know, your nana maybe makes it, your grandmother, yeah, yeah. whoever, somebody does, shows up with beautiful ones. I used to make them with lobster topped on top. Oh my gosh. But here we get that easy. Yeah, so here we're just gonna have some fun and it is simple. So eggs, uh, sorry, elbow pasta, boil yeah. off your eggs, paprika. You're putting in obviously that egg. We've got a little hero display here ready to go if you can zoom in on that. That's very, so you're so, not making a deviled egg. You're boiling the you're egg. You're boiling the you're eggs. You're slicing it up. You're putting in mayo, you're putting yep. in red onion, you've got yep. your elbow pasta, you're making just like you would, but you're incorporating all that goodness together. Beautiful, and you mix it up mix and you've got up. a beautiful pasta salad. Dill, dill is always a play in dill. any pasta salad. Yes. So lightens it up, freshens it up. So there's like three really great mash smash ups. up, mash up dishes. That cheeseburger taco is going to be unbelievable. Uh, it is going to be amazing. If you want to smash it, you go ahead. Maddie, you always come to, he like, he did not come to play. Look at this. Go for it. Yes. CityLine.tv for the recipe. Be sure to visit our website. Oh, yeah. There's tons of recipes.